Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, today we will discuss about the join relations in SQL queries. It is often important to join some relations or tables so that we can get a resultant relation from which we can select many of the attributes of these two relations or the more relations. So we will discuss about all types of joining, the condition based on the joining and use that as an example of solving the queries. Joining the relation means actually doing the Cartesian product of two or more relations. By using the Cartesian product, we are actually using all of the combinations of the attributes that two or more of the relations which are being performed the Cartesian product. There are many types of join that we will discuss today. And first, we will discuss the inner join. The inner join means actually intersecting two sets based on some condition that has got some common values on some attributes so that we can choose the common among them. And if the values that are present in the left attributes of the left relation condition in with the right attributes, then only it will be matched and get in the resultant relation. If there is no matching result in relation, then it will be a null relation. So let us see how to perform the inner join. Before typing the inner joining and all other joining, we must see that there should be some conditions and we can rename it also like the other relations. So the condition should be specified and considered as predicate while joining the relation. And now after joining the relation, we will see that how to insert the join relation inside the actual query of a SQL. First, we will see the syntax of joining two relations. So this is the basic syntax. We need to name the relation one, then the type of the join, then the relation two, then use the keyword on and then give the predicate on which the joining to be done. So we will start with the inner join and see how inner join is done with the example. So we have to consider two relations first. The relations will be loan and borrower for example. Here we are considering two relations, one is loan, another is borrower. Now I want to join these two relations based on different conditions and different joining type. Now when I perform the first join, that is the inner join, we need to write loan, inner join, borrower, on loan dot loan number is equals to borrower dot loan number. So the predicate here is this two tables loan number must match with each other so that I can join them. As we are intersecting the common values, so there should be some common attributes and common names or common values on the attributes so that I can perform the inner join. So the result of this join will consist the loan number of this two because it matches with this one followed by the branch name amount as well as the customer name in the resultant attribute relation. Now the customer name will be appended with the left relation as the left relation appears first. 
So whichever is the left relation that will appear first in the resultant relation followed by the left out attributes on the right relation. See the loan number is already here so it will not be repeated only the customer name will be added here. So here it looks like when we inner join it. See, I contradicted with my words that I have put the loan number here. So that is the difference that I want to tell you that if we put the inner joint statement or the keyword over here, then we can see that we will have all the attributes of the left relation followed by all the attributes of the right relation. Even if some of the attribute matches with the left relation, it will be repeated again. So with the same matching numbers of these two. So to eliminate the repetition of this attribute, we will use the keyword natural. That I will discuss on the join condition. But before that, I want to perform some relational joining that will give me all the attributes of the left relation as well as the right relation. So we will move to our next join types that are outer join. When we outer join something, that means all the attributes and values of the left, right or the two relations will be there depending on the types. So there are three types of outer joining. One is left outer join, right outer join and full outer join. We will discuss this case in example and elaboration. First, we will see the use of the natural keyword. If I put the natural keyword here, let us take this example again. Now here we can see that I have used the natural keyword before the inner join and I have added an as which is used we know for the renaming purpose. So we are renaming the resultant relation or the joint relation as LB or a loan borrower and I have renamed each of the attributes little much. Like I've changed the loan NO as loan number BRNM as branch, AMT as amount, and the customer name as customer. As we have the loan number from two of this, then it will be combined into one and considered as a loan number. So now the resultant relation will look like. So this is the natural inner join of two relations. Now, as we know of the two join conditions, one is on, another is natural. So the join conditions we can talk about are already on and natural. There is one more join condition we can use and that is using. The using condition is used for getting a simple number of attributes rather than taking all the attributes. Say for an example, I want to consider for the joining only the two attributes like loan number and branch of the particular loan table so that we can mention the using loan number comma branch name for the purpose of having only the two attributes from the loan relation for the joining relation with borrower.
So it is also a condition using the using clause that we have to use for taking only a predefined or a particular number of attributes rather than taking all the attributes considered for joining. So the three conditions are on which is used for using the predicate then the natural which is used for not repeating the values of the attributes that are already in the left table and we can left it for the right table and finally the using keyword will give you to use only the number of predicates or the attributes that you choose other than using all the attributes for a relation next i will move to my outer join parts and start with the left outer join and each of the examples i will use the natural keyword because i don't want to repeat all the attributes that are present in the left relation as well as in the right relation now i will use a natural left outer join Now the left outer join, all the attributes and values of the attributes of the left field will be mentioned in the resultant relation and the not matching attribute values of the right relation will be given a value null to consider as the resultant relations value in the attributes. So if there is no value present or not matching any value with the left relation, it will be kept null. See, I have natural left out to join two tables. Now, if other than using the left out to join of natural keyword eliminating, then we will have another field of the loan number of this customer or borrower table where we can also put now. So let us see if the natural keyword is eliminated, what will be changed inside this table. So there will be another field called loan number. And considered it as null. So as I am natural joining the left outer join, so this will be not there. So we can eliminate this field and say the table resists till now. Now we will perform the right outer join on this table again. Now if I perform this query, the result will be the natural right outer join of these two relations. As we can say that the natural right outer join is same as the left outer join, but all the attributes and values of that attributes inside the right outer join table will be mentioned in the resultant relation. And if there is not matching any value in the left relation, then we can keep it null. So the resultant of natural writer or the joining of these two tables will look like Now we can see that in the left field, we do not hand the branch name and amount of L115 toll number as because that belongs to the right field on the right relation and we are having only the customer name information against this roll number. Now we will see the use of using clause inside the full outer join. In the full outer join or in a natural full outer join, we will have and all the values of the attributes that present in left and right outjoin. join. 
if there are some non-matching values in the right relation it will be kept null and if there is some non-matching relation records in left relation then it also will be kept null let us see that how to do that on the loan and borrower table and we will now use it with the using clause see the main important part of the using clauses i have already described it will take only some of the attributes not all the attributes of the relations that we are taking and performed on that much attributes we will make the relation now the results as considering with a using clause the first and foremost condition is the attribute name we are mentioning inside the using must be same for each of the relation and common to each of the relation if using clauses using an attribute that is present in the left but not in the right it will generate an error because it cannot match the two loan numbers or the two attributes here it is very much like the on predicate but rather than using a single attribute we can use it on a range of attributes if there are present a number more than one attributes common to both the relations so first we are using the natural full outer join on using clause in our example loan and borrower has only one common attribute that is loan number so we can use the full outer join using loan number attribute See here I am using the using clause inside it the attribute name and the keyword full outer join predefined with the natural. Now the resultant data will look like. See in the full outer join we have all the loan numbers of the left relation as well as the remaining one of the right relation and for the left relation the branch name and amount of L115 is not present and for the right relation the L260's customer is not present so we have kept it with the null values. So that is the natural full outer join using the loan number that is being common to both of the relations. Now we will see some examples how to use it inside an SQL query. Here using the query, we are finding out the customer or the depositors, which customer name we are selecting based on the condition that they have already a loan account number and also an account number in the bank. So we are selecting the d.cn, that is the depositor's customer name, from the table that is a resultant relation of the left outer joining depositor and borrower but the depositor customer name must match with the borrower customer name. That means the customer is a depositor as well as a borrower to the loan. So which you're having a loan account as well as a normal account. Now DB1 is the resultant relations aliases name, considering D.CN as the depositor customer name, account number P.CN as the borrower customer name, loan number, where b.cn is null that means the customer hasn't got any loan in our account so if the customer isn't got any loan in our account then only you are allowing to have an account to solve this query so we are basically selecting the customers who has a normal account but not a loan account in our bank 
Now, if I want to check that if a customer has either a loan or an account, both are permitted and I want all the customer's name, then I will use not the left outer join, but the natural outer join of full using this tables. So let us see how to do that. So when I am using this query, I am fetching the result that the customer can have either a loan account or a normal account in our bank. So selecting the customer name from the naturally full outer join of depositor and borrower. Why we are using the natural full outer join so that we can have all the null fields on the loan department and the fields on the depositor departments. And the predicate is if the account number is null, if the customer is having a loan account, it will be considered null filled on a full outer join in the depositor. And if it has gotten a depositor account, then the null field will be there for the loan number. So either if the account number is null or the loan number is null, we will consider it as our result of the customer name from our bank. So in this way, we can use the joining inside the SQL query. So that are all for the join types, conditions, and joining matters on the relations of subqueries and queries inside SQL. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikira and subscribe to Ikira.